What's good everybody in the building man today guys we have the review of the upcoming Kobe 4 Pro Tro Philly Kobe 4 Pro Tro is set to release on August 13th alongside with the Venice Beach as well as the Italian Camo, all retailing for $190. And right now as we speak, there is a EQL raffle available right now at the Soul Play Lawrenceville location for in-store only pickup. So check out the link down below if you are in the Georgia, Atlanta metro area, Gwinnett, uh, DeKalb, Fulton, wherever, check it out because you could enter in now and potentially be a winner of the Philly ATL raffle over at Lawrenceville. The Philly Kobe 4 Pro Tro, major difference, or well, I would say it's a minor difference because there's only really one big difference from the Pro Tro model to the original Kobe 4 model, and that is the Phylon utilized in the midsole. There's less Phylon material in the actual midsole itself, so it gives itself a more softer cushion feeling, but also a better reactive feeling when putting more energy, more buoyancy on that Phylon midsole. Also with the Kobe 4 Pro Tro, which was very big about this shoe, is the visible fly wire featured on the mid panel on both sides of the shoe. Of course, the Philly colorway, paying tribute to his Philadelphia origin where he was born and raised. Kobe was born in Philly, raised in Philly, lived in Italy, and of course played in LA. Hence why all three of these sneakers kind of pay tribute to Kobe Bryant's upcoming, uh, you know, where he lived and where he played all throughout his career. This is the first time this shoe has retroed, or I guess you could say pro troed, re-released since 2009 when it originally released. And for the most part, out of all three, I definitely think that this is a fire shoe, but probably the least popular out of the three. I will say though also, cause you guys have been asking, and let me just double check, I wanna triple check, the sizing on this particular pair, right? Because when it comes to the sixes, you guys don't like the snug fit, of course. When it comes to the, the eights also, I would say as far as sizing goes between the six and the eight and the four, the four is the best fit. I would say the best, the less snug of the three because I've already told you guys, highly recommend, like I personally would go a size up on the Kobe eight that is coming out in the Venice Beach. I feel like the length is not long enough. The Kobe 6, the width is definitely snug and the top portion of the shoe is very tight. And I would recommend you guys, you know, if you want to go a size up. However, for me, I'm keeping my true to size because I'm okay with that snug fit. But the Kobe 4 Pro Tro, I feel it's good to go with your true size. Now, if you don't like snug shoes, then go up half a size. I'm not here to argue, I'm just here to tell you what I'm doing. This shoe compared to the other two is the least snug out of the three. It's the one that is less pressure, less tight in my personal opinion. Also, I think that this shoe, I don't wanna say it's the best man cause then people are gonna be, you know. But when rocking this shoe and doing the on foot and wearing jeans, I mean, some of them looked okay but for some reason these actually looked pretty decent in jeans. Me personally, when it comes to Kobe's, I'm gonna rock them with shorts or sweatpants in chill environment. But these actually looked pretty decent with blue jeans for some odd reason. I don't know if it was just the color or what. I mean, I feel like personally I would rock jeans with all three of them. I'm not against it, I'm not tripping. But out of the three, what I thought, this one looked kind of the best. This, this is my personal opinion. The shoe itself though, besides that, pays huge tribute to the original model in that shape and fashion. The actual Philly itself has Kobe's birthday on the inside as well, 082378, of course, symbolizing Kobe Bryant's birthday alongside with the city he was born in, Philly. At one point, Kobe was rumored to be going to the Philadelphia 76ers. Luckily, that did not happen. If you guys know, I'm a huge Laker fan, a huge Kobe fan, so him staying was a uh, a great thing for us and I know an unfortunate thing for some of you uh, Philly fans out there. Lower Marion High School is where he went, drafted straight out of high school, one of the best players drafted straight out of high school of all time and um, I would say some people would say also one of the greatest high school just basketball players of all time. LeBron's up there, Lebr I, LeBron probably is the, the greatest straight out of high school or the greatest high school basketball player of all time. But um, yeah man this shoe definitely a sleeper out of the bunch. 3M on the tongue, 3M on the toe box. You got the signature also on here with that 
that, that plastic or polyurethane cup on the back, leather on the 24, so you got a little bit of leather, you got a little bit of that 3M leather around the toe box, and the midsole with that less phylon cushioning is uh, definitely very soft and um, giving, which is good for a good reactive bounce and just cushion when walking on the shoe. Be on the lookout, the Philly, and uh, I know I've been doing a lot of Kobe videos this past couple of weeks because I'm very excited for this. I actually made a mistake, and you guys, some of y'all should be able to back me because we've known for the past couple of years now that August 24th has always been kind of like Mamba Day or something special, 824, right? Well, apparently Nike is now making Mamba Day April 13th. Now, maybe it was like an unofficial 824, but now I'm reading that Mamba Day is, and I guess moving forward, going to be on 413. I, I don't like. I don't know why. I kind of like the 824, but if that's what they're gonna do, that's what they're gonna do. But the, of course, the 413 is due to Kobe's last game, in his last game when he played. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Like somebody in the comment section, salutes to you, made that mention because I was, you know, saying Mamba Day, Mamba Day, and they're like, I thought Mamba Day was April 13th, and I'm like, what? And I went and looked, and it's like Nike made April 13th Mamba Day. And that's why this is happening. And I guess with that being said, April 13th is the relaunching of the Kobe line. So that is it. Cause I read they were relaunching it ahead of Mamba Day, meaning 413 ahead of 824. But no, I guess 413 is now the new Mamba Day. So if I find out any more information, then uh, we'll, we'll update it in the comment section or in the description. But Moving forward from what Nike's stating, Mamba Day is now April 13th from what I read on some of these news articles out there. Kobe 4 Pro Cho Philly, 190, April 13th. EQL is available now, check out the link in the description. And more stores should probably be doing the same very soon. And I will end you guys and girls off with an on-foot review. I'm out, peace.